All right, what's going on, Feldfinder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more redundant of Flora 2. Yep, killing Flora 2 been as dry as fucking ever. I mean, thank God we have Rock Max for, you know, doing maps and killing Flora 2, but I don't think even custom maps are gonna be saving, well, yeah, killing Flora 2's inevitable decline. Not to be overly negative, but that's just how it is. But yeah, anyway, before I go immediately into our rant, yep, we're gonna be playing today Filth's Cross. Yep, this was a Killing Floor 1 map. And for those of you who played Killing Floor 1, yeah, you probably know what this map is. I mean, I'm just gonna say this, it was not one of my... Well, yeah, favorites in Killing Floor 1, but it was definitely, how should I say, memorable. How did you get stunned? Oh yeah, that's right. I got the stun skill, boy. But yeah, I'm just playing this map back in the day. I think this was like my least played map, but it is one of the classic ones. And for some reason, yep, I'm playing the survivalist. I mean, not to say that, you know, the survivalist is bad. I mean, this shit kind of like grew on me because... I mean, who cares? It's killing floor boy. Okay, pistol. Just gonna headshot some fools just like that. A giga quick reload. Boy, boy. Boy. Yeah, that was three boys in a row. I mean, to be fair, I can just like hold, you know, the spawn area. But just for the sake of a showcase, yep, I'm just gonna be... Well, yeah, going through the map. Yep, this place, Giga Freaking Memories. I think we actually camped in here back in the day. You know, just like weld this door and just like shoot from the front. But I do believe there was like another camping spot that I totally forgot where it was. Oh, free shield. Very cool. Yeah, I don't actually remember where that camping spot... It was probably here, to be quite honest. But we eventually just like stuck with the area upstairs. Okay, to the trader we go. It's like far away as hell. Do this map's freaking huge. Okay, trader, what you got? Just gonna sell that shit. I do have like, what, 14 seconds to make up my mind. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go for my classic Kaboomy stick. I might actually go with the what's it called? The HRG something art generator, I think. I mean, that thing's cool. I mean, just look at the state of this underground, well, yeah, train station. It's just so run down, abandoned, exactly what you would expect from, you know, a freaking zombie invasion. I mean, most people don't like the Killing Floor 2's maps. I mean, I'm just whatever on them. I, at least I can play them, I guess. Because I'm gonna be quite honest. I mean, this, like, rundown stuff looks cool, but there's only so much you can do, if that makes any sense. Because, I mean, you're pretty much just gonna be doing, well, yeah, copy-paste, well, yeah, rundown town areas. Yeah, boy. God damn it, man. Oh, spooder, yep, of course, that's not just a spooder, it's a stalker alongside. But just got giga poked. Oh, of course, there's more of them. Okay, into my camping spot we go. Yeah, I think this was actually where we camped it out. Because, I mean, in Killing Floor 1, yeah, you could actually just, like, weld the door infinitely. But, I mean, in Killing Floor 2, the more you weld it, yeah, it's gonna eventually break. I mean, I just, like, let it break this time, but you know what I mean. Okay, siren, just gonna- How didn't you- Okay, never mind. Just gonna throw that. Just in case. Oh, it's an either trap. We have to deal with this dude real quick. An Usk. Why are you existing, fam? Okay, got a Usk. And he didn't die. Dude, the Kaboom stick, it's just such a- I know, satisfying weapon to play. Dude, I just can't wait what they're gonna be doing with Killing Floor 3. I'm just hoping at this point there's gonna be a Killing Floor 3. But I mean, the amount of potential this game had and they didn't deliver. I mean, it was just sad. Dude, I feel like when I record Killing Floor 2 videos, yeah, I just get, I know, just in this ranty form. Because I'm just like so passionate about Killing Floor 2, but at this point, yeah, I'm just getting progressively more bored. Because there's just like no new content, and the new content we're gonna be getting is gonna be, well, yeah, subpar. Again. And let's skip the trader, and we should be good to go. Oh, arc generator. Dude, if this thing had, you know, a unique model and, you know, unique animations, yeah, it would be one of my favorite weapons. It still functions pretty good. It's just underwhelming, you know, in terms of animations and how it actually is. Because, you know, it's just a reskinned microwave gun. Okay, yeah, boy. Don't want to deal with you. Oh, did you just get stunned? Dude, this thing's giga good at stunning. I just wish this thing one-shotted Edars. 
you know, just like one click. I mean, that would be satisfying. Dude, I don't know exactly where I should be going right now. Maybe in that, well, yeah, camping spot. But I ain't sure. Oh, that was a giga fast reload, though. What's up, my dude? Okay, let's just go back out to the spawn. Oh, it's a scrooky scrook. Yeah, just gonna EMP him, I guess, and then just whoop him. Never mind, ain't gonna whoop him, because there was a clot in between. And I'm just gonna get burnt right now. Or not. Oh, it's a quarter punt, yep, this is exactly why the kaboom stick exists. You get swarmed by a quarter punt, yep, you just whip out. Well, yeah, this OP piece of shit. And just kill everything up. I mean, fair enough, most people are not gonna say it's OP because they don't know how to reload cancel and stuff like that. But if you're familiar with the game, yeah, the kaboom stick is undeniably giga, giga good. Oh, it's an actual fleshy punt right there. No, oh, and he's mad. And he actually got me there. But I got him a right back. I mean, killing floor two, for me personally, it is officially just dead. I mean, some people are gonna say, oh, but put fund, look at the player count. There's a lot of players still. I mean, yeah, it's obviously gonna have players, but in terms of uniqueness, yeah, it's a bit dated. Still good gameplay. Just for me personally, you know, my expectations, yeah, nah. Okay, I think I got everything that I need. Let's get back out. I mean, to be quite honest, if I was not, you know, doing YouTube and stuff like that, I would probably quit this game right after they did well, yeah, the DLCs and just porting in maps from the workshop. I mean, that was, yep, yeah, just a sad thing to see. Yeah, boy. Never mind, boy. There we go. Time to stun some spooders. Maybe throw a grenade, just like that, I'm getting either blasted for whatever reason. I mean, maybe I would quit back when they made the EDARs into the game, but... The biggest blow, I think, was the DLCs, HRGs, and community maps. I mean, that was just sad beyond sad. Okay, Skrook is Skrook. How are you on the floor, fam? Oh, that's a quarter pound. I mean, he do get destroyed. He do get destroyed, that's a proper English right there. And more core pawns. Yep, time to skedaddle the other way. Dude, this map's insane. I mean, to be fair, on multiplayer, yeah, it would probably be a little bit easier. I mean, fair enough, on solo here, I'm just like by myself. Just have to deal with everything on my own. Okay, what the hell are you doing, fam? If he hit me there, I would probably die. But, I mean, thank God for the Kaboomy stick. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, what are you doing, fam? Okay, I think this is like a good place to hold. I mean, there's only like 18 more Zs, so... Should be good, even if I get like three big flesh pounds. Still got the kaboom stick, though. Okay, just throw that ball right over there. Maybe kill the bloat in the meantime. Oh, Edar. Why doesn't that one shot him, fam? Dude, huge ass EMP ball. I mean, EMP is supposed to shut off electronics and shit. Why is the robot still just moving around? I mean, doesn't make sense. Boy. I mean, to be fair, if they made it so, you know, EMP weapons, you know, EMP nades, HRG Tesla launcher, stuff like that, actually one-shot EDARs, they would be actually quite satisfying to go against. Because, I mean, you got that one-shot potential on them. But, I mean, I guess fucking not. Okay, we got the boss now, which one are we gonna get? <laughs> oh, Patriarch fam. But yeah, overall, this map, a little bit claustrophobic. Pretty much the same as Killing Floor 1. Now we got my man himself. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna like kite my man right around the freaking block here. Minigun, by chance? No? Nope, he's just gonna go away. Oh, what's up, my dudes? Yeah, destroyed. I feel like this weapon is a little bit wonky, you know, this like EMP just sometimes doesn't bounce from Z to Z. I mean, it's just weird, but I mean, I do like it on the survivalist. Okay, Patriarch, it's a uh, 1v1, the fuck you doing? Minigun? Nope, he's just gonna pin me down in the corner. Oh, he's stunned as well. Yep, I think he's... Yep, pretty dead. But yeah, that was pretty much it for Killing Floor 2's Filth's Cross. Yep, I mean, eventually we're probably gonna be getting all Killing Floor 1 maps in Killing Floor 2. Which would be pretty good, I mean, that's what the developers themselves could be looking at. You know, like a throwback update or something like that. But, I mean, we can't expect much anymore. Anyway, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.